What up everyone, welcome to BMG, it's your boy Brown Mamba, hope you guys are doing good. So in this week I got a Minecraft video for you guys. So this creation took me about, I don't know, a few weeks, I've been working on it for a few weeks now. Maybe every third or fourth day I did a little bit on it for about an hour. And I finally finished it today and I think it looks pretty nice. So basically what I did was, in about 5 to 10 years I have a plan in my life that I want to build my own custom house. So I thought I'd make it on Minecraft first to see how it kind of looks and that's what I did and I think it came out, the layout came out pretty well. Obviously it's not going to be exactly like how my real life house will look like but eventually I think the layout will look very very similar. But little details like the colors and certain rooms that I couldn't make. Um, you know will exist in real life that it didn't I couldn't do it in Minecraft but I think honestly it came out very well the backyard looks amazing it's a three car garage four bedrooms upstairs two bedrooms downstairs three different kitchens like you guys gotta see this creation I think it looks amazing and I hope I hope one day um, my dream house I guess you could call it will come come to reality and I think you know since I'm saving towards it in real life and working towards getting something like this I think um, it is it is possible the highlight of the house is definitely the theater room. You guys will see that closer to the end of the video. I did build a custom theater room for this house. In my house that I live in right now, I also have a theater room. If you guys click on this video here, please watch that video first. That's the house that I'm actually living in right now. It's actually pretty sweet too. And it's, I think, the second most viewed video on my channel. And I really appreciate that. I got a lot of likes on it too and a lot of comments. And I can't thank you guys enough for that. And yeah, my channel's been slowly growing. I'm up to, I think, 70-something subscribers now, and thank you guys. Um, yeah, if you guys like this video, please share it. Press like, definitely. I know it's kind of long. It's a little bit over 20 minutes, but it does go through the whole house. It gives you the full tour of everything. Um, you guys will skim through it, obviously, and share it if you like it. And yeah, I guess I'll start on the video. All right, guys, we'll start off with the front of my house. It's a three-car garage. My actual house that I live in right now, it's only two. Look over there, it's only two. But yeah, the next house I do build, I do want a three car garage. I think I need it. We do have a lot of cars at home. That's the front of my house. I love a lot of windows, big windows. So I put a lot of windows in this. I love stone and that's why the color is kind of like lightish, whatever color that is, with some stones in it. I think it looks cool. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go in right now. This over here is a side door. This goes to the mud room. I'll show you guys that after. But this is the main entrance right here. You enter here and you get stairs right away. And I think that looks nice. I think having stairs right when you enter the house in the middle of the house looks kind of cool. Then you have railings that go all the way around. I think that looks nice. Yeah, so those are just railings. So you can be anywhere upstairs looking down to see who's in the front or whatever. Um, to the left over here, it's our sunken living room or family room. I don't know. I don't know the difference. Basically, this room is where no one comes and sits. Um, it's, it's a lot of big windows in this room too. Um, some couches and a table. Um, yeah, it looks looks part of the backyard or the side of the house kind of. I love the sunken look. I think it looks kind of cool when it's a little bit more like not on the same level. I think it looks nice. So it's a sunken family room, I think, or living room. This here goes outside to the side of the house. I thought I'd put this here because, you know, some nice scenery over here and some water and stuff. So I thought having like a separate exit to go outside would look kind of cool. So I put some tables and stuff here and like a bistro set thingy here. And there's a balcony that goes upstairs. I'll show you guys that after. Yeah, that's the side of the house right here. Lots of greenery. Let's close these doors. All right. This is my office, you come in here, two desks, one for me, one for my wife, lots and lots of books, big windows looking into the backyard, I love the backyard in this house that I built, I think it looks awesome, I'll show you guys that after, but yeah this is the office, obviously it won't look exactly like the way I want my house, it is Minecraft, but I think it's, you kind of get the idea of what I want my new house to look like, the layout, uh, we'll go to this side actually. All right, so once again to the right side of the house. So if you go straight, it goes to the main bathroom that's downstairs. Just your toilet and a sink. The color's kind of weird, but whatever, something different. Um, then you go into here. What up, dizzy boy? If you go into here, um, this is the mudroom. I think every house should have a mudroom. So if you guys don't know what a mudroom is, here I'll show you. This will be the main entrance that we'll use to come into the house through this or the garage. 
that that goes from the outside and this is from the garage. The garage isn't done yet. Um, but yeah, garage doesn't really need to be done. But yeah, so you come into here and then this is where you would put your shoes away, your jackets away, and if you have kids, you know, they call it the mud room just because, you know, kids drag in mud and I'm a pretty I'm a pretty big kid myself, so I'm always driving in dirt dragging in dirt and stuff too. So yeah, you would take your your um, shoes and stuff and jackets off over here. And then you would come back out here into the house, close these doors. All right. So then we'll go into here. Oh, you know what? We'll look at the dining room first. This is the dining room. Another room that no one really eats in. I have a dining room right now too. No one really eats in. I love the the ceiling here. The different like layers I did. All right. We go over here. This is the family or living room. I don't know what the difference is. But it's a family or living room. I put some chandeliers, lots of windows. I said, like I said, I love big windows. Brings in all the light. And you can look into the backyard, and I'm a big backyard guy, so wait till you guys see my backyard. This is a TV. It has like this brick effect or whatever. It goes all the way to the top. Even the ceilings, I've always wanted like ceilings to the top for my for, for the main room, and I think this looks awesome. I think it makes the house look so much more open and bigger than it really is. All right, and this is the kitchen. In the new house, I do want a white kitchen. I think white kitchens look awesome. So white table, white island, sink, windows looking outside into the backyard, stove, uh, in wall oven, or yeah, in wall oven. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, fridge, and if you go back here, this is the pantry. Oh, looks like we have a leak. I think there's a. I think there's a tub upstairs and then just the water is just coming through. Not sure. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's weird. And uh, yeah, it's just a pantry. This is where you put all like your cookies and your chips and all your snacks and like pops and stuff. Just like storage. We call it a pantry. Um, and then over here is a second kitchen. My house right now, if you watch my first video, it has a second kitchen as well. And I think it's the most important thing when you do decide to buy a new house or build a new house. Um, is to have a second kitchen. Cause you know, if you cook a lot and a lot of the sm that smells and stuff like that go throughout the house, but if you have it in like a separate enclosed kitchen, I think it's it's a lot better. And plus, it keeps the main the main kitchen nice and clean. So yeah, it's a second kitchen, lots of ca cabinet and um, uh, counter space. Down here goes to the basement. I'll show you guys that after. All right, so yeah, that's the that's the kitchen, guys. Lots of light, of course. High ceilings. Uh, so yeah, that's the that's the top floor. I mean, sorry, the main floor. We'll go upstairs now. So yeah, so this over here, like I said, I love this part. It looks down into the family room. Looks looks over here. Looks over into the main entrance. So you can kind of see what's going on. I love that. We'll go all the way over here. Uh, I believe this is the bathroom, the main bathroom. Put a little hot tub or jacuzzi here. Standing shower in here sink and of course the mr toilet out overlooking the the water outside so you can take a shit and have a great view that's the main bathroom close mr door and over here this is to the side of the house just a random balcony look, looking outside it was a great view i wanted to include it you see the mountains and the water and the trees and stuff like that in real life, I don't think I'll ever have this view, but it'll be too expensive by Minecraft. I uh, jumped on the opportunity. All right, let's go. Took advantage of the scenery I had. Um, over here, it's once again, goes to the front of the house. You can see outside, you know, more windows, the better it is. And this is a bedroom. Put a little bedroom here, full bed set, dresser and everything. I put a little seating area here to look outside. Somebody wants to stalk someone, you could. Lots of windows. There's another entrance to go right here. The balcony. Alright, so that's one bedroom. Let's go across. I love like how the house is divided in half. I think that's cool. Alright, so if you go this way. Actually, you know what? I'll show you guys this after. Go this way. Okay. 
this is an, a bedroom full bed right here got the bed set with the the, the whatever the headboard and, and all the space the storage space and stuff like that the dresser that's the word i was looking for the dresser and there's a window right here looking to the other side of the house this is a bathroom um tub shower head sink toilet everything another big window looking to the side of the house lots of trees Over here is a closet, nice big closet, walk-in closet. Close the doors, okay. Over here, if you go up these stairs, it's into another bedroom. Yep, it's like it's a boy's room with another big window. A blue bed set. If you go into here is a bathroom, once again, Sink, standing shower, tub, toilet. It's a window right here, looking to the front of the house. Let's close this door. Come down the stairs, all right. So that's the front of the house. Okay, so let's go over here. So I love this. I love coming outside the bedroom and just looking down. It'd be kind of cool. So this is the master bedroom, AKA my room. Put a little little sofa here with a table and a TV and another like dresser type of thing it's my bed set all white I love the color white there's a little rug that goes around the bed if you go this way to your right will be our walk-in closet I want a big closet my wife has a lot of clothes and a lot of shoes so I need a big big closet that's the walk-in closet if you go this way it's the bathroom once again, a standing shower. You need a standing shower and there's like a little hot tub, jacuzzi thing. Sinks, big window, toilet, the usual. All right, so that's uh, that's the master bedroom. The best part is right here. Open this door, so you can come outside. And then you got a little balcony of the view. You see mountains in the far, in the distance. You see your backyard, the trees, I think it looks sick. All right. I guess I'll show you my uh, my backyard now. Oop, all right, we'll get a nice view from from the side right here, like this. So yeah, that's my backyard. As you can see, it's a, a multi-level deck. I think those look awesome. Right now, in my current house, it's only one level. It's kind of boring. I think in my next house, I want it to look exactly like this. Have it multi-level. I think having a multi-level deck just adds just adds I guess like a, a different dimension to it this is a pool that's a hot tub up here with the sun bathing um, lawn chairs I guess they're called it's a hot tub right here some more chairs to lounge on some tables a big table right here if you want to you know barbecue and just eat out here there's a little bar area you know, I thought I'd have put a bar kind of away from the house too. So people want to like drink a lot and just chill here by the water. There's another bar right here too. A little mini one right here, closer to the house. And there's an outdoor kitchen. I think outdoor kitchens are awesome. This is where you would barbecue and cook and all that stuff with the fridge. That door on the side just kind of takes you behind all that stuff. Nothing really crazy. This is just like part of the pool. So you could go like do laps around this. I think it would look cool if you did that. And over here is just the entrance to the basement. I guess I could show you guys the basement now from this this way. So when you enter from outside, from the backyard, it's a walkout ba basement. I think walkout basements are awesome. So it's like the basement is like ground level with the with the with the backyard. You enter, and then there's another bar in here. As you can see, there's lots of bars in my house. I'm not a drinker myself, but I think bars are cool. Some stools. So this is a kitchen. I think every walkout basement needs a kitchen. Um, has a counter, has a sink, the stove, the fridge, everything. Full, full nine yards. And if you go over here, this goes upstairs to the second kitchen. So they're connected. So you know, if you want to cook up here and bring the food downstairs, you could do that, or vice versa. And that's the side of the bar. This is a random couch. This is the main like living room, or I guess like the the couch area where people sit and watch games and hang out. And, in the man cave. 
Um, yeah, it's. I have something similar to this right now, but obviously this is a lot more bigger. Uh, there's a pool table area. I like playing pool, so my house have to have a pool in it. I have a pool area right now in my house, a pool table area, but it's kind of small, so having a nice open area with stools and stuff around it will look nice. Over here is just a bedroom. I have to put a bedroom in the basement. You know, when people get too drunk after parties, they could crash, or when you have guests, still closet. Over here, it's the bathroom. Oh, the door broke off. That's okay. It's a shared bathroom. Um, so there's two doors. Tub, shower, toilet, blah, blah. I'll go this way and go to the other bathroom. The other bedroom, sorry. There's another bedroom in the basement. In the closet. Over here, you go back outside. Let's close these doors. Close, my friend. There's another couch area here. You know, just keep chill and hang out. Kind of left it empty because there's so much more I want to add, but obviously like it's Minecraft, I can't add everything in detail. Yeah, so that's that's the basement. There's one special room. If you guys seen my first video, I built a theater room in my current house. So of course I'm gonna build one. Oh wait, hold on, it's the bathroom. I'm gonna show you guys the bathroom. This is the bathroom for the, for the basement. Nice standing shower right here with the tub. And now uh, the sink. And over here is the, the private toilet. Man needs a privacy for the toilet right here. So like I was saying, I built the theater room in my house. And if you guys watched the video, go check it out. That's the theater room that I have right now. But of course, if I once I custom build my new house, this is the type of theater room I want. So you would enter like this, and you'd either go left or right. This will be where the projector will be in the back, like this, in that room. But I want a nice, big, big theater room like this. I think it looks sick. Have some lights that go down the stairs. Obviously, it won't be as lit up, but for this video purposes, I had to light it up a little bit. But yeah, just nice open area with a big screen, at least 300 inches, 400 inches with nice red seats. Everything else black. I think it looks really cool. I'm a big movie guy, so I love watching movies and stuff, so I need. I need a separate theater room just to sit and watch movies. I think I think this theater room looks sick. I think this, I would build something like this, and I do it. And this is actually right under the garage, and that's exactly how we do it in in real life. I would I would get special stuff made so I could build the theater underneath the garage. I think it, it's for soundproofing and just kind of outside the house. It's just better. And yeah, that's that's the theater room. Well, I think it, I hope you guys like it. I think it looks pretty sick. But yeah, that's, that's basically the house. Um, it's It looks big, it looks kind of complicated, but it's not, it, it won't be that crazy, like expensive to build. One day I am saving towards it, so one day I will I will have it built. Um, here, I'll show you guys how to get back upstairs. So you will go from here, and then you just enter right here to the main area. But yeah, so that's my video, just a quick tour of uh, Potentially my new house one day when I do build it. I am working towards it, saving towards it every single day. And uh, one day I will have this house built. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. It's huge. It's a four bedroom house, three car garage, nice big driveway, basketball court, movie theater, um, a pool, two hot tubs, everything. The full the full nine yards with amazing views. I can't get these views in Canada. Well, well at least where I live. But, um, but I think regardless of what the views look like i think the house will look really nice once once it's made one day um but yeah that, i like i love the backyard my favorite part of the house is the home theater the home theater room and then second will be obviously the backyard i think the backyard is awesome those are the main places where i spend my time either in the home theater watching movies or playing games in my office or in the backyard barbecuing and just enjoying the the weather and stuff the little, the little few months we get of uh, nice warm weather, I'd love to spend it outside. But yeah, if you guys um, like this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends and pass the video along. You guys gave me a lot, a lot of love for my last tour of my own house. I got, I think that's the most viewed video on my channel, or the second most viewed video on my channel. Hope you guys show the same amount of love for this video. And I'll, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!